good morning. So I'm over here in Spain today. I say today, this week. And I've planned to run up a big old mountain. But I'm probably not gonna do that today. That's not today's run. I'm just uh, going for a 10K run today. Get the old trail trainers out which I don't really need because I'm running on paths at the moment but I will need them tomorrow or the day after whenever I choose to take on the mountain. So the mountain is a mountain called the Sleeping Lady in Spain, in Murcia. It's about 680 meters and it's a 22k trail that I'm going to be running. But it's obviously going to be on a loop but today it's about 15 degrees right now. Uh, high as a 24 today, so not Scorchio, but a hell of a lot better than running in the UK. So I'm taking advantage and doing a cheeky 10k in the sun. So it's all it's all pavement here, but that's because I'm still on the resort where I'm staying. I'm just going to walk for a sec. So this week I'm staying on a really nice golf resort. Anyway, that's not the reason I'm here. The uh, reason I'm here making this video is I can see it in the distance. There's a mountain up here called the Sleeping Lady. It has like a U shape. Apparently in profile it looks like a woman sleeping. So this mountain in the distance. So there. I can't see it myself. I mean I haven't got a very good view from here. Let me see if I can get up a bit closer. plan is tomorrow to get up dead early and run it. That's the plan. But today I'm just trying to find the start of the trail so I know where to run to in the beginning. That mountain is called the Sleeping Lady and that is what I'm going to try and run tomorrow. I'm coming to the end of my run today. I need to head back because I'm supposed to be meeting other people for breakfast and they weren't even up when I left. See you tomorrow. Very windy. That's where we're going. Yeah, baby. Up at the crack of dawn this morning to try and get here with sunrise. Um, I would say it's perfect running conditions because I'm not hot. Highs are 26 degrees today. So when that sun comes up properly, I am going to be warm. Uh, I'm just going to stop a sec. So I'm just coming up to the start of the footpath at the base of the peak. So today's peak is called the Sleeping Lady. And we're in Spain, in Murcia. In total, today's run is 24K. I think, yeah, just under. But yeah, it's really windy. I'm going to keep going because we're nearly at the uh, footpath. I believe that's the peak. It's about the same height as Penny Ghent, the peak I ran up last year in, uh, in the Yorkshire Three Peaks run. I'm doing the equivalent run today of half that distance and one of the peaks. That means absolutely nothing to anyone. But that's the kind of measurement I think about when I do these runs. Okay. 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 
problem. That's not the peak. This little one behind me, uh, no peak. Sin climbable. It's not like Del Boy. Now this is the peak here. So, this big one. That's what I'm climbing this morning. Not this, not this baby one. This is so pretty, look. Look at the view. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> I absolutely hate heights. <laughs> and that's just a that's just a proper drop off there. If I went down there, momentum, I wouldn't stop. Back on course. We're going up there. So I took a slight detour, accidentally, went the wrong way, standard for me. Good thing I got a watch. Let me just check it actually, yeah, up here. So uh, I went straight, I went, I went to a path that went straight up to the peak, realizing it ended with a sheer drop, which obviously wasn't a path, but people have forged it out to take selfies. So I had to backtrack. So yeah, wasted some time there. This is so steep. This is so steep. You can see the ocean. Yeah, that's the ocean. Oh my God. Hold of Mercia. Oh, I'm out of breath. So we've come from there, right down there. See that footpath? We've got to get to there. Ooh. Oh, mama. Look at that view, though. All right, let's keep going. Trying to think about it. I'm trying desperately not to think about the height. The climbing, the exercise, not a problem. No problem. But the height, not a fan. And this bit's the worst bit. It's straight up. This bit's the worst bit. This is straight up. I've got to climb this, there. Not even at the top yet. There's the top though, about 20 feet from the top. I just stopped here to take this view, picture of 
to just film this view. Yeah, that's where we've been. Whoa. Jesus Christ. It is a sheer drop. Am I? I got wicked vertigo. Wicked. Just makes me so dizzy. I'm not going to the edge. No way. Look at that. Okay, I'm officially, I'm officially on top of this peak now. That's it, climb done. I don't know where to go now. I think it's taking me, it's taking me up here. It looks like I've got to go down a small gully and then back up. We'll see, let's keep going. We're now coming to the top of the main peak. Uh, that's where we were, down there. And this is where we're going. This is where we're going now. at the top the sun's well up now it's about eight o'clock and what I thought was the peak back there wasn't the peak so we're just coming up to the peak now I think third time lucky I've actually said we've reached two peaks when we haven't it's up here so that last section back there where I thought it was the peak it wasn't as soon as we got over that false ridge where it tripped me uh, it's really steep so and it looks like there's going to be another steep bit here. Mm. And my watch reckons I'm off the route. But considering there's a sheer drop to my right and a sheer drop to my left, I don't think I am off route. <laughs> if I am, I'm not going back on it. So is it this path? Or is it this path? My watch reckons it's this path. But I think it's this one. I'm taking this one. swear words for all I know. Sat nav says down here and over there apparently. Not sure where. We'll find out. Oh my god. I'm not going any closer because that is a Absolute sheer drop straight down. I'm staying perched here, but I'm at the top This is all of Murcia Spain Murcia if I'm saying it right and I'm staying somewhere over there and in the ocean is behind this rock here, but yeah, I'm at the top That's it. Right, I'm going back down Jesus that is high Yeah, this is the right way I don't know why I'm holding a GoPro while doing this. So yeah, I was just up there. So we've gone down this ridge, this gully, and then we're heading up to this peak here.
this is this is as close as I'm prepared to get to the edge. I am foot edge. I'm not getting any closer because it's very windy. But official top, official top. That's the closest I'm getting. Jesus, not a fan of heights at all. But anyway, stop moaning because we've done it. Now I've got to get back down the other side. No more, no more peaks to climb. Three mini peaks, a couple of false peaks. I'm hoping this trowel goes down at some point. Okay, okay, another peak, another peak, another peak, guys. So windy. I'm really hopeful my GoPro got that. Slow descent now, because this is really steep. I need to stop saying that we're heading back down, because <laughs> that's down, and the path is taking me up here. I need to stop acting as if I know what I'm doing, and just follow my watch. Oh, Jesus. This is supposed to be the path, somewhere. Oh my God. Unbelievable view, look at this view. Unbelievable. Oh fuck. Okay. So when I started this, I had no idea. I never scouted the route at all. I never watched any YouTube videos. I downloaded a map, didn't even check where the peaks and troughs are. We are definitely heading down now. So on this climb, there were three decent, decent peaks. We've got to go down here. And then I assume around to the right to my watch. The trail's here somewhere. I don't know if you can see it, because I can't. But yeah, the trail's here somewhere. So I just need to find the trail, get on the trail, get down, get back. So the angle of this camera really doesn't do it any justice. The GoPro doesn't really do distance or height very well. Um, but this is really steep. Gradient wise, the GoPro's not great. But yeah, this is really steep. And according to my watch, I've got to go this way. Straight off the edge of a cliff. Where's it saying go? No way. No way. I've gone the wrong way. No way I've got to go down there. It's saying I've got to go down there. Off that. I'm not going off the edge of a cliff. Following my watch. Like those morons with sat navs that drive into the sea jumping off a cliff because my watch said so. I'm just going to say for the record, something fundamentally has gone wrong because it reckons this here, down there is the trowel. My watch, I'm not going that way. So I'm going to go back, which is longer, but I'm going to go back the route I came because at least I know I'm running out of time. So at least I know the route, I know where to go. I've covered the peak I wanted to cover. I've climbed the sleeping lady, all done and dusted. So yeah, I'm gonna take the path already trodden because I'm not jumping off a cliff. I'm not 100% sure what's gone wrong there because I've scouted it all out. I've even, I even laid on my stomach to overlook the edge. It's just a sheer drop. So anyway, I'm heading back. I'm wasting time by standing here. I need to get a move on, off course. I know where I'm going now. Let's do it. Okay, sit rep. The I'm back, halfway back, going home. So I've just climbed the first peak. I'm just about to head up 
I'm in the middle now in that gully thing that I came across before. So I'm heading back over the peaks again. So I have to do this twice, which I didn't expect to have to do. So this is added serious time. And I'm probably going to be ending this run in the hottest part of the day, Scorchio sunshine. But yeah, that's where I've been, up there. And I'm heading up there. And by the power of Grayskull, I'm up. I'm up at the top. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's get this finished. I did not expect to have to do this twice. Um, I don't know what went wrong with the, with the trowel. This one is the last one. So I've got to go down here and then back up there through all this shrubbery. Sit rep, windy sit rep. We're back at the top of the last peak. That's just where we were. That's the radio tower up there. That's just where we were. And yeah, we've just been, woo. And now we're going this way. All right, that's it, that's the last one. Back down the other side, and then five mile run home. That's where we were, up there. We've gone all the way down here. And now all we've got to do is get down there. If you can see the path, that's where we've got to go. This has been perfect. It's about 26 degrees now. This has been brilliant. Down here, down there, and then round. And we're back on the trowel. We're back on the trowel. So this is done. That's where we've been. Twice. Job done. Very windy here. So I'm going to end the video now. And I'm just going to say, I've absolutely loved this. It's a rare treat to be able to run or trowel run like this in the sun. 26 degree heat in Spain. Unbelievable. An unbelievable privilege. That's the sleeping lady in Murcia, Spain. Done. Really enjoyed that. All right, I'm gonna head back, have a shower, and eat my body weight in carbs. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Oh, I forgot to say, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. But yeah, really, really chuffed with that. So good. Cheers, guys. Daddy, daddy cool. Daddy, daddy cool. Daddy, daddy cool.